This is Michael Kreider for AndroidPolice.com, and we're here at Mobile World Congress 2014. We're looking at the ZTE Grand Memo Slim LTE 2. I may have mixed one of those up. No, that's Grand Memo 2 LTE. This is a successor to the Grand Memo from last year. That one was a 5.7 inch screen. This one is a 6 inch screen. It is TFT. It is a pretty nice screen, but as you might be able to tell, it is 720p, which means the resolution is a little lower than what you'd expect to see at this very large size, at that uh, 6 inch size. Uh, running on it, you can see ZTE's custom interface. Underneath that is Android 4.4. We have confirmed that. Uh, let's see if we can look through here. Uh, as you can see, it does have the Nexus-style virtual navigation buttons, but if you look closely, you'll see that the Recents button and the Back button have been switched for some reason. We don't know why, they just have. So deal with it, I suppose. The rest of the hardware is, a, is kind of a mix of some pretty standard stuff and then some surprisingly low-end stuff. We told you about that 720p screen. It also has a Snapdragon S400 processor in there, which is typically a 1.2 gigahertz uh, quad-core processor. Again, a little low for what we'd see from a big phone, so we're definitely aiming lower than usual for these big tablet phones. If you look on the side, you can see the standard uh, kind of a Sony positioning of the power button here. Here we have a micro SD card slot and your SIM card slot. You're going to need a tool to access both of those, a bit of a non-standard design point. Uh, it has a 16 gigabyte storage capacity in there, so you probably want that micro SD card slot. Around you see the back, we've got sort of a kind of a faux, um, faux finish here. Nice big speaker. We have an 8 megapixel, sorry, a 13 megapixel rear camera flash module. That front, front one is 5 megapixels, so pretty good for selfies, I suppose. Two gigabytes of RAM in there, so it should run your software pretty well. Other than that, it is a pretty standard large phone aiming at a lower at a lower price audience, although we don't have an official price for that. It's a long tab to open up. So this is almost certainly going to be primarily for the Chinese market. You might see it in a few European markets as well. I would really doubt it if we see this in a U.S. carrier anytime soon. So that is the ZTE Grand Memo 2 LTE here at Mobile World Congress. I'm Michael Kreider for Android Police. Thank you very much for watching.